Where's the damn elevator? Let me clarify something for you, Chris. Thanks. I'm gonna keep moving. You should never have come. Chris Redfield's tactical stars outfit from Resident Evil 1 is a classic. It's not even so much what he's wearing that makes it recognizable, but the color palette itself. So much in fact that the green and grey color palette stuck around for Resident Evil 5 and 6 later on. On the surface, Chris Redfield's outfit from Resident Evil 1 may seem straightforward at first, and hey, for once I agree. This cosplay is definitely on the simpler side. However, this is, after all, Hard Mode's cosplay god video. We don't half-ass things here. In this video, I'll be going over in detail over every single piece of gear that Chris is wearing in Resident Evil 1, so that it can potentially make your cosplay endeavors a lot more easier. Let's get started. I want to start off by mentioning that this video focuses on Chris Redfield from the HD version of Resident Evil that was originally released for the GameCube. There are many variations of Chris's stars outfit, most of them with questionable changes. The main reason I'm focusing on this particular version is because it's possible to identify most of the gear pieces he's wearing and their exact models. Let's start off with the most visually distinct piece, and that being his body vest. Chris is wearing the M69 flag vest in an olive configuration. Replicas of this vest are widely available online and they usually go for around $100 or so. You could also try to find a genuine M69 flak vest on eBay, although they go for higher prices and are more often than not very worn and stained, you get what I mean. I've seen some cosplayers go with an olive puffer vest as a cheaper alternative, and at face value it sounds like a good idea. But it's not for multiple reasons. The first one is, of course, accuracy, and the second reason being that they are on the larger side with an extended backflip, and they're just baggy overall in general. Of course, if you're crafty, you can turn it into something that does look like the genuine M69 vest, but for that money, you can just get an hell, even a genuine vest. The vest itself has a fair amount of military accessories. Let's start off with the belt that he's wearing, which I have identified as being the US M1956 Individual Equipment Pistol Belt. If you can't find this particular model, uh, in a pinch you could use a generic army belt, such as this one from Rothko. On the back of the vest there's a custom stars logo, and to save you guys time tracing or recreating it yourself, I will leave a image file for it on my Discord server along with the links and guides to all the pieces that I mentioned in this video. That image file is accurate to the game and you can print it out and use it as a stencil for applying the STARS logo. Make sure to use a black sharpie when tracing the stencil. On Chris's left side there is a shoulder strap. You can make it yourself by using webbing. Uh, first make a loop that fits the M1956 belt, then sew it on or glue it. And don't forget to add the grey tape. Next, cut it to the length that you desire, until it's hanging about 2 inches under the belt. I would recommend adding velcro on the vest's left shoulder to prevent the whole thing from slipping off during conventions, because the thing weighs a lot and uh, the sway that the knife sheath will cause will occasionally make the loop uh, fall off your shoulder, which is not really convenient. On the shoulder strap there's a familiar looking knife holster taped on. This is presumably the same model that was used for Leon in Resident Evil 4, so if you already have a Resident Evil 4 Leon cosplay along with a knife holster, you can safely reuse it here. If not, then let's go over it. In the game, he uses a... a survival knife. That's it. 
All right, uh, so the real deal is that this model is fictional, so that means we have to resort on making it look as close as possible. By far, their easiest solution is buying an M9 bayonet knife. Uh, it can be a plastic dummy replica used for airsoft, or you can get the genuine piece, but just don't take that convention, guys, come on. Then follow that up by getting a leather holster that's compatible with it. If you want an easy one-to-one -one solutions in terms of the proportions of the holster, you can get thin EVA foam, cut out the general shape of the knife holster, then spray it, or even better, paint it brown and add the extra detailing as the finishing touches when you're done. Of course, it's possible to find someone who can directly 3D print the in-game model for you, uh, and take it straight out of the game, but I couldn't find any 3D files for Chris's Knife for Sale on Etsy or any other website, so... Yeah, it's a possible thing you can do yourself if you have the time or people who could do it for you. Next up is the shirt underneath. There are a few important things to note here. The first is an important to game accuracy, but it may seem strange. Uh, you will need a white shirt that can stretch along your bicep to highlight it. Uh, one way to achieve this is to buy a white compression shirt and trim down the sleeves if it has any. That way you can get the right stretch for your needs. Uh, either way, this attention to detail is purely optional and is only for those who want top tier accuracy and... Chris, although not as bulky as in Resident Evil 5, is still pretty muscular. On Chris's left shoulder there's a stars patch. Uh, you can find some alright ones on eBay, however... They are not accurate to the game version, uh, the text is off and uh, the colors are too. If you want accurate stars patches, I would recommend getting some from Super 6 props. I've mentioned this prop maker before in my Leon Kennedy RE2 cosplay guide. Once you get them, just slap them onto the left shoulder and you should be good. Alright, onto the gloves now. The original model used at the time were the Hatch Reactor Fingerless Gloves. However, they have long been replaced by newer Sleeco models that look nothing like Chris's gloves from the game. Thankfully, some companies such as Miltek and Rothko made some replicas. They are the same ones that were shown on both my RE2 and RE4 Leon cosplay guides. However, as you can see, Chris has an extended cuff on his glove, and after searching all over the place, no such gloves with this particular cuff length exist, at least. I wasn't able to find one. If you don't really care that much for game accuracy, you can simply get them and call it a day. But if you're feeling crafty and mischievous, here's what you can do. Plenty of cosplayers did this for their stars gloves and... First, buy these gloves off of AliExpress or Amazon. They come with extended cuffs and a strap that will come in handy later. Remove the straps of the gloves by unsewing the threading. Next up, for the cuffs. Buy some leather BDSM gauntlets. Yes, you heard that right, we're getting kinky up here. Rip off the cheap rivets and buckles off of them and sew the buckle over the holes. Finally, sew the edge of the leather gauntlet to the edge of the glove, making sure to align it properly. And there you have it, Game Accurate Stars Gloves. I can't believe I'm saying this. <laughs> Now all you need to do is put a black metal watch with a black metal wrist strap on the left wrist of the glove. Any cheap watch will do, you can buy a current watch if you really feel like it. Alright, on to the bottom. Let's start off with the pants themselves and uh, then we'll move on to the accessories. The pants are from 511, specifically the 511 TDU pants in a grey configuration. The holster on his left leg is a generic drop leg holster with a single leg strap. I will leave links to multiple options for these. The belt he's wearing is a generic tactical belt with plastic Fastex straps in a black configuration. On his belt are two tactical pouches of sort. One can assume that they are pistol mag pouches, however the texture on them and the scale seems a bit off. Uh, this is a video game after all. As in, they look like scaled down AR mag pouches with a clip on them. Resident Evil Remake is notorious for reusing textures all over the place, so it's really up to you to choose which you prefer. Uh, you can either go with some regular pistol-sized ones or some bigger ones. I'd recommend getting some phone mole pouches such as these. Next we've got the knee pads, and they are just the generic ones with six rivets. The outer ones I already recommended in my Honk and Lee on RE2 cosplay guides fit the build perfectly and 
Once again, if you want cheaper ones, just get some airsoft boot lake, and there are plenty that exist online. For the boots, the exact model in game is the Magnum Classic boot, as you can see on the texture files. Last but not least is, well, Chris's Samurai Edge. I do want to know that, narratively speaking, Chris has two in game. Uh, Chris has his own Samurai Edge, as shown in the opening cutscene. However, he loses it uh, during the first encounter with the BOWs before the gameplay even starts. For the rest of the game, he uses Jill Valentine's Samurai Edge. Uh, due to this, you can cosplay Chris with either guns. There are multiple ways of getting a one-to-one -one replica, so let's start off with the do-it-yourself option. The first option may sound strange, and is fairly hard to do. That is, making it yourself out of paper, as you can see here. I tried making it myself, and after four hours of torture I couldn't get it done, so... Unless you're really, 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 really good with papercraft, uh, I recommend just following the other options. But for those who do want to attempt uh, making it out of paper, well... Here's what you need to do. All you need is a printer, paper, and paper core designer 4. Paper core is a program that's used by many cosplayers that, well, make their cosplayers out of paper or EVA foam. Paper core's usefulness for cosplayers goes beyond the scope of this video, so I suggest checking out this beginner's guide by Riser on YouTube if you want a detailed video on the program. Basically, you print it out and assemble it manually after cutting it out. You can get some pretty high quality airsoft replicas of the Samurai Edge from WeTech and Tokyo Mori. Uh, although they come at a high price. Uh, a cheaper alternative would be to buy a airsoft Beretta M92F and repaint it accordingly. Also, you can change the grips uh, with the actual WeTech Samurai Edge replacement grips. Another option for the grips are to go with those high end replica grips from DS Grips or uh, collector Design Works. AliExpress also has a few Samurai Edge wood grips, although they're not completely accurate. And as always, before I end off the video, here are some images for reference of other cosplayers that have done Chris Redfield. Anyways, thanks for sticking around and as always thank you for watching and until next time everyone.